Welcome back. It's time for Under 30, looking at quantum computing stock ticker QUBT. George Tillis is here, senior markets correspondent for the Schwab Network. George, uh, something you warn us about all the time, the dilution around these pre-revenue companies when they make nice performance, uh, it's rearing its ugly head once again. It is. I mean, we talk about these these runs and, and of course, these parallel technologies, artificial intelligence in this case, you know, quantum computing is uh, a parallel, um, you know, industry space that has done extremely well. I mean, if you look at the stock in the last six months, uh, it's up over 230 percent. And we've talked about Rigatti computers or, or Rigetti, forgive me, uh, as well as some of the other um, D-Wave computing quantum computing companies. Um, and this is an industry group that's moved considerably this last year. So you have to look at the the trends, which are still positive, even in QUBT, but um, they're going to do what they're going to do, which is utilize the capital markets to um, issue shares to essentially uh, provide capital to, uh, to their operations as well as their capital expenditures. And if you look at um, quantum computing, they did do that again. They issued about $750 million worth of uh, new common equity. Uh, this is actually on top of another $500 million secondary offering of the company posted going back to September uh, 20th, uh, the week of September 20th of the la this last year as well. So they raised, you know, a uh, billion two, uh, roughly speaking, in the last, you um, know, little while, not too long. Uh, but they essentially have about a 75 a million dollar cash burn per year. And these are big numbers. I say not in the context of big big players like NVIDIA or Microsoft, but if you just look at the sales uh, last year for QUBT, 300,000 in sales, uh, expected to have about 400,000 this year. And uh, next year they're expecting 2 million in sales, but for what it's worth still, market capitalization around $4.6 billion, roughly speaking. Uh, those numbers priced to sales are tremendous. Uh, and again, the company's taking advantage of these lofty stock prices to issue shares. Yeah, this is a, a, an interesting thing too, George, because there's a key word with this private placement that I think is powerful to this discussion, which is the word oversubscribed. They're taking advantage of the fact that this stock is very much in the market zeitgeist at the moment. And they haven't overdone it. There's still demand for this. So as long as there's demand, the stock itself is already 15% off its intraday lows. Um, they're going to continue to do this more than likely because it's the prudent thing to do. Uh, but, George, we'll leave it there. Good yeah. breakdown, as always. Excited to see okay. where some of these technologies go uh, as it's potentially still relatively early days uh, for a lot of it.